Hi everybody, my name is Hernan Rodriguez. I'm a celebrity and portrait photographer. Today I'm gonna to show you how I build my sets on creating high fashion portrait lighting. Okay, for our first setup, we're gonna create a light that simulates the sun, very contrasty, very bright. And it gives us uh, hard shadows. It gives us uh, more of a fashion, high contrast look. The options we have of using this continuous light is that we're able to actually see what we're creating. And we're, we're able to even shoot bursts. When I shoot fashion and I'm shooting strobes, I have to kind of wait for recycle time. So this allows me to shoot a burst of maybe even seven shots. And as the subject is moving around, I'm able to create exactly what I want. Another great option we have on using these continuous light is that we're able also to control our Kelvin. So I think we're going to shoot about 40, 4200 and 4500 range, which normally when I shoot flash is 56, 57, 58. And, uh, but this allows me to create the mood of the portrait. And since we want something a little bit more edgy, a little bit more contrasty, I'm trying to create those blue undertones. And this light allows me to do that. As you can see now, we have a lot of ambient in our studio. We have open windows, which kind of gives us an overall fill light per se. This light is powerful enough to dial it up and we're not even at 100%, we're about 80%, and we're able to overpower that ambient fill. And since we're using a bare, bare reflector, which is uh, silver, it gives us a little more punch, simulating again, as I said, the sun, so we're able to create that contour and those nice, rich uh, shadows. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a fashion that has a, that's evocative, that has emotion, right? So that's why I have you turn your body this way. And always when you pose, it starts with the feet. So I got to put something on her feet so she could get a little bit of a pivot. So I think uh, there's, a, there's a crate behind, that black crate. So it allows you to pivot and bring your, there you go. I mean, I think, I think this is great. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be all emotion, right? Yeah, just that left foot. So what you do, just bring this foot here. So bring, you would bring your waist forward towards this slide a little bit? Good. Uh, and then right there. So you're almost flirting to the camera. So you're looking off like right in here. Yeah, you're looking right in there, very, really intense. And sometimes you bring that neck up a little, exactly. Just really lengthen that neck. And then all you do is sneak your eyes. You keep your, your face there and then you sneak your eyes into the camera like that, right? Kind of flirtatious, kind of looking in. So this is actually our first test shot and I, I make minor adjustments and I look to see the highlights of what I want to create that high fashion portrait or that fashion look. Uh, the brightness of the key light, I mean for me that's important and since we're using a bare reflector it gives you a lot more punch as the light comes through it amplifies that light and it gives us that, that contrast and uh, you could tend to overpower or you know go to the other extreme of blowing out the highlights. So, I make sure I'm right at the edge of that brightness without overexposing. And it's probably like, you know, a stop and a half brighter than what my actual exposure would be to kind of get on that edge, on that brightness. And that's what gives me the contrast. That's what creates that fashion portrait look. High shadows, deep shadows, brightness. And I, this is straight out of camera. So, you know, from there we could make those, those adjustments we need to do. Now, one thing when you're working with ambient light and, and continuous light, uh, it's important for you just to make sure that you have one shadow. You know, most, I knew, I, at least for myself, when I started my photography, you know, I got, got double shadows and, you know, sometimes the shadows are coming from everywhere. So, you know, it's very important that you gotta really keep in mind where those shadows are. So, there's a window adjacent to camera left, creating that ambient fill and just by powering up that LED and it, it's strong enough to give us that brightness, it overpowers that ambient and it gives us that one continuous shadow. What constitutes a fashion a portrait? It's the lighting. You know, one thing is in classic portraiture, the contrast is much less, one, one stop and a half maybe, one stop. So it's got nice continuous tone all the way through the, the skin tones. But when you're creating fashion, it's that brightness, it's the shadows, but it's also the exaggeration of the body. You want to create something that's more graphic, 
something that has a lot more, you know, impact, a lot more of that wow factor. And I do that by simply like either bringing the body forward, bring the chin up. And if you could see from this shot here, just by doing that, having the subject lean down, having her bring that head upward and lean over, and even the, the gaze looking off camera, it doesn't always have to be straight to the camera, it could be off to the camera, and that creates an editorial look for our portrait. You know, it's, for me, it's always about the collaboration. I know some photographers are actually colleagues of mine, uh, are particular, you know, they have their storyboards, they have everything set, and they follow an agenda, which is pretty cool. But personally for me, what I like to do is I do have that. I, send, I spend sometimes weeks, you know, doing my celebrity work with the talent, the agent, and I have my mood boards. But the collaboration of the team, you know, it's a simple makeup artist saying, hey, try this. Or, you know, an assistant just like, you know, changing up the whole game and that's the money shot. So we have to be supple. We have to be open to creativity. And that's what separates an image, you know, that is yours to an image that is like, wow, you know, it's, because there's a lot, I mean, I would rather have 10 heads working on one image than myself, so it's just something that I like to do. Yeah, and actually that's why we, act, we, we brought in a cigarette. It wasn't even my idea, it was my partner's idea. He said, hey, let's go back to kind of a retro vintage 40s look, you know, when the girls had cigarettes and that whole fashion, high, high society look. So we brought in a cigarette and, uh, and that's what worked. And just for the record, the idea of that bold red lipstick was, you know, our, our model, our subject. Beautiful Natalia, and uh, yeah, she's been working on the, in the, the industry since she was four years old, so that helps as well. Okay, now for the second setup, we're, we changed our modifier. We're, we changed it to a beauty dish. Now we're going full power on that. And I'm trying to create a lesser contrast uh, portrait or fashion, you know, editorial look. The first one was very punchy, very contrasty. Now by putting a second continuous light, we're able to dial down, per se, those shadows by bringing that fill light to maybe 70% and dropping in the contrast. So as you can see, just by bringing that light in, it eliminates some of, some of the shadows and some of the contour to create something that's, a, it's still fashion, but it's more commercial fashion opposed to that high contrast, the editorial look. Using the L60B, for me it's impressive because I'm using a lot of flash in studio, sometimes, you know, six lights. And what we're able to create or what we have created here with simple one or two light setup is amazing. And the simplicity as well is pretty impressive because, you know, you have so many options and you mix it like again with natural light or ambient light. This again, I advise to many photographers out there who are doing either boudoir and using natural light or wedding photographers, portrait photographers on location in lobbies, it's endless. Thanks again guys for watching our video today. If you want more content, please subscribe to our channel.